Welcome to Imperator Rome and welcome to Superior. Not so super anymore. In the last episode, I kind of made a mess. We we lost a lot because we had like uh, let me see, let me can I can show you guys what we had. We had like the Greater Iberia. That's everything that is green, and we lost uh, a few provinces over here, one over there. And we lost this big part. So, in a few years, we are going to go to war again. But for now, uh, we are going to try and get some troops destroyed because they are way too expensive. Right, let's see. This one I cannot destroy. We are going to place them tactically around the border. And if I cannot destroy them because they are loyal, can we merge them together? Consolidate. That's something we can do. So this one and this one will... Select, we got like 5,000, 6,000 here. We all got these small, little, annoying armies where we. where there's kind of nothing we can do. And I want to be able to do something about it. So, fragmented clans. This is kind of something. Right to be heard. Although our kinsmen few each other and trust admire that this is kind of I need to settlement focus. That is something we do need. So I do want to be to be do something that we we need to do something to yeah we we are going to change laws we're definitely stability will drop but I guess it's the only way. So now I have still have some armies over there. We're still losing a lot of money. Oh my god. This is truly horrible. Wait a second, if you you're my most expensive army and you have no general. That means I'm going to do what I need to do. Religious proceeding. All right, and the priest will be left alone. National unrest. I definitely cannot use national unrest at the moment, but I could use the stability. Yeah, let's do that at the moment. We need to. Sp All right, we are almost there. We. Remove one of the most expensive armies, your sheep. Can we... These are still three armies. It's kind of annoying. Some armies are way too expensive for my taste, like that one. These are also all loyal troops. And I expect that once we get like uh, stabilize the manpower problem, 
we should be able to fix it. But I also want to go to war in 1935. Research output is already at 40. We started like a pretty low with it. And well, we fixed a lot. Ransom prisoner. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, why should we? So changing the laws will uh, give a little bit of unrest and loyalty problem, but maybe I can get a little bit better control at my government by changing those laws. And I also want to do something about my tax. So we got one loyal province that's totally loyal. Uh, that one is totally not loyal. But we will do something about that pretty soon. Government politics. How am I able to pay that? The army of is one of the finest in all Supracia. Yeah, that that's kind of nice that you want that. Um, but I don't want that. Oh man. What are all these candles? Why? Gain temperament loyalty, Kearns. Who is who? You are my clan chief. He's a rival of the clan chief, and you're the war chief friend. Mm. I know the Brenny is a large family. The war chief. Well, let's do that. That was expensive. So making money in this game is, is pretty hard. That's one thing that's for sure. Is there still one little province that is mine? Oh yes, these two are mine. Why would you would I give you access? So that you can take that land that I want. We finally got slaves. That's that's one fun thing. <laughs> but well, we are still having an army problem. I definitely don't want to lose more stability. We are already at pretty low stability, so... There's nothing else I can do. A shadow of doubt. Worrying rumors has spread among our people that our nation has fallen in this new grave. Yeah, that's kind of... I know that that happened. Stability increase, that's always good. Alright, we got like a new chief and she is the one... I kind of want to uh, pause the game, I'll slow down a little bit because I... The tribal things is, is pretty annoying because they can do like kind of everything they like. And it's it's damn annoying. So we already got the absolute law. You lack all clans are loyal. That's definitely not going to be the case. 
So there's nothing I can do at the moment. Diplomatic hearts. I need to do to have something that we can get more money. Religious freedom. That's not going to help us. But this this was kind of killing us. Now we got national tribe and output plus ten percent. So these aren't really in some kind of order, so... First attack cheese, autonomy, power to the might. Hmm, now there's not really something we can do. The only thing we can do at the moment is expand our land. The biggest problem is my army and that I cannot disband them at any kind of way. This is kind of crazy that I pay that much. All right, well, we got uh, some nice, we got national commerce income. That's always a good one. Uh, building costs. And uh, national citizen output. All right. Pause the game because at the moment it's going a little bit too fast and I am going too fast. Centuria, uh, that's one galley slave, so I don't need, I do need a discipline. Mm, Omen durations, national tribeman's happiness. All right, so we got like one more army we can disband and it was a pretty expensive one. We're slowly disbanding our army. Just because of the leaders dying. So how is his alliance going? A duel to the dead will fix this. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I can... Uh... Nice, we got two more dead. And that makes it so that we can disband another army. This is the way to get rid of all your armies. Get your people to fight to the dead and I'm still in a minus this is really amazing wait a second I got like crazy fort maintenance why do we have I didn't know we had a fort over here we don't need one and I don't want a fort over here all right that's done So having that much people is kind of annoying. You are you loyal? Yes, you are. That's kind of annoying. You're loyal as well, but I don't know to who you are loyal. But I don't really care. The country civilization has advanced. That's good. Nationals that's improved opinion. Uh, so we're not doing bad at the moment. We are growing slowly. But we're still losing money. And I'm just waiting for 1935. 
Can we kind of declare war to you? Because you are fighting a war over there, so... Res military axis. This is kind of funny because you are in a war or are you not? No, you're not. So we we definitely need to let our people what is this? Oh great, another one. Building up her own army. There isn't much that I can do about it. So I need to get my stability up before I can declare a war. That's kind of logical. And we need more manpower recovery, but now we kind of need... Hmm, we still have that. Yeah. All right. A message has been sent out from the arbitrator. We can get like some money. We can get some civic power. Oh, we can do it the bad way. Am I paying for this one? This, this is what I hate about it. Because you just build up an army and I pay for it. That's really annoying. That is really annoying. There is really nothing that we can do. Is there any country that we can attack? That is like so small that it has no alliance. Yes, you got a big alliance with big boy over there. And you have a truce, but no defensive pact. So the, that 14k... Is something we could do like a little payback. Sixteen thousand. All right. Let's check this one more time before we start a crazy war that we are definitely going to lose somehow. But that could be a good possibility. That, that would happen. Fabricate a claim. You got military access with a lot of people. You got truce, cause belly, but only one real alliance. Your military advancement is five, and mine is. Uh, I wonder what where we are military advancements i really don't know where to see that technology hmm i really don't know we still have one army without a general That's something I don't want. We got more than one army without a general. Alright, so now that we got 16k, we are going to do this. I am kind of annoyed. I want money. Fabricate claim. Uh, we are going to... 
Oh yes, we do need to declare war as well. We are going to slow down time because I'm not going to make the same mistake as before. But it is a possibility that I do, I will be able to do more mistakes. And uh, we need to wait a month. Ah, that's annoying. And uh, we lost our magistrate war chief. And uh, we only got like kind of crappy ones. That's not good. We do need to look into that soon. And a lot of people are dying left and right. Lucky I got some good ones left over there. All right, let's slow down. Open a uh, declare war. And they will take over war leaders since they consider themselves stronger. All right, possible defending joining. Wait a second. So somehow there are some small other country joining in a war. That one. That is kind of annoying. So there is no way. Kind of like the same, like declaring war to him. Hmm. All right, so we're definitely not going to do that because if they join, we are definitely going to lose that. This one then, can we declare war on him? Yeah, we can. Let's do that one first. Send those two armies to that position. That's kind of annoying. Man. If there was only an easy way to declare war, because once you're original power, there's really no way. To do anything, I guess. We are too powerful to join the defensive league. This is, this is so frustrating. This whole mechanic of local power defending themselves. I'm, I'm not, I don't think myself as a regional power. I can bully around a little bit. But there isn't really A way to beat these guys. And that that's so annoying. Alright, so we are taking that. Gonna need to send in the second 6,000 troops. Why is there... This is kind of crazy. You're building up your own troops. Yeah, let, let them duel. He didn't, he didn't die that, that's kind of annoying. All right. This is so annoying. We're still losing money and it's all because of people creating their own cohort. So I need to dive into that. 
because I am losing money left and right. And if they paid for it themselves, I wouldn't mind. But... This is so annoying that I, I don't know what to do. I really don't know where to go, what to do. All clans are loyal. Open heart. There should be something like in here that, that makes me change. That I control them. Encourage infrastructure. No, that's not it. So if you guys know how to fix this, I would really, really like to know that. Open hearing. We should strive to be transparent in our government. The advice of our clan chieftains is invaluable. We should ensure no, that's increase. Nope, that's not it. Institute absolutely chief. Chieftains from within and without our land should be invited to engage in regular assemblies. We should propose hosting such event. It will be considered a bold move by declaring hatchment our uncivilized nation. They will. Oh man. Power is the might. Our following strong chieftains or warriors. We should return to these roots, placing greater authority and trust in our warship. Loyalty gain chance monthly general. So these are all uh, to becoming a true state. Our kinsmen may find this hard to accept. All right, well, I have no idea how to fix it at the moment. But we'll find figure this out somehow. I'm going to dive into this because it, it's quite annoying and it's, it's bugging me. It's costing me like a lot of money. Right, so we won this war, sue for peace. We're going to take all your money just in the right time. And you're back part of our country. And I am just going to kill all these guys unless he is, he is interesting. He's healthy, but he's... He's eight percent loyalty, and he just has one kit. So I guess we are going to try and the Ioxi family. Let's see where is he? Where is he? That one. Address cruise fight. Thank you. All right, now for the next part. Uh, let's see, can we get a good one? It doesn't really matter, some loyalty. Got they both die. And again, an expensive army created. Costing me like two point ducats and 
When I destroy them, there's just a new army popping up. I want to control my manpower and not the other way around. As you can see, I can unpause the game. I can unpause the game. It doesn't really matter. I am still losing money. Oh, now we're getting close. All right. He is building up his army. It's two more years, but well, we are going to check that out. I'm going to do some research on how to control my tribesmen because that is going to be my biggest problem i hope you guys all enjoyed this episode i really did enjoy making them and i hope to see you at the next super Russia. thank you for watching see you next time